when Taylor Swift opened the doors to the tortured poets department at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, none of the poets were singled out simultaneously with the album drop, but Taylor did reveal that Fortnite would be brought to the forefront as the album's first single with the music video dropping 20 hours after the album release. Taylor wrote on Instagram, the first single from the tortured poets department is Fortnite featuring Post Malone. I've been such a huge fan of Post because of the writer he is, his musical experimentation, and those melodies he creates that just stick in your head forever. I got to witness that magic come to life firsthand when we worked together on Fortnite. So it's a good thing that the first time I heard the song was actually watching the music video, because yeah, if I just listened to the audio of that song, I would have thought, is Post Malone even in the song? That's the same thing I thought um, with um, Levi's Jeans, Post's other collaboration with uh, someone named Beyonce that dropped last month. And Post didn't come in um, on Levi's Jeans till the two minute and eight second mark. But when he does, he really takes over the song. Like, yeah, he gets a huge showcase in that song. It just takes him a while to come in. This song comes in earlier at the minute 20 mark. I guess his voice is there because his lips were moving. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't hear Post's voice in that moment. You do hear his voice throughout it, but yeah, um, it's not very uh, loud. I'm surprised that um, this is happening again because, you know, Taylor just went through the whole debacle on Midnight's with Snow on the Beach with Lana Del Rey where they actually had to go back in to the studio and re-record it because yeah, people were complaining so much that you couldn't hear a lot on that track. So yeah, it's, maybe it's not to the same degree, but I mean, yeah, you don't feel post very well on this track either. Fortnite is a song that I think really exhibits a lot of the common themes that run throughout this album, one of which being fatalism. Now setting the song aside, Taylor knew exactly what she wanted to do visually for the song. When I was writing the Fortnite music video, I wanted to show the worlds I saw in my head that served as the backdrop for making this music. Pretty much everything in it is a metaphor or reference to one corner of the album or another. For me, this video turned out to be the perfect visual representation of this record and the stories I tell in it. Post Malone blew me away on set as our tortured, tragic hero, and I'm so grateful to him for everything he put into this collaboration. And then Post wrote in his own post, It's once in a lifetime that someone like Taylor Swift comes into this world. I'm floored by your heart and your mind, and I'm beyond honored to have been asked to help you with your journey. I love you so much. Thank you, Tay. Ice Spice commented on Post's thank you post, thank you. Follow that? Okay. <laughs> Julian Harris commented, OMG, I love this friendship and everything about this. Now choosing this as the first single, smart move, just on paper. On Friday, Fortnite set a new record for the most streams in a single day with 25.2 million, topping Adele's Easy On Me, which had 19.7 million. Now I thought Taylor's own Antihero was the previous chart topper on the list, but no, it was number three with 17.3 million streams. The video for Antihero was released on album release day as well. It came out at 8 a.m. And Fortnite came out at 8 p.m. The only reason I can really think of there would be that by not having a music video on YouTube for an extra 12 hours, that's that many more people that have to go stream it on Spotify in the interim, right? It was a signal to me that, oh, okay, she's really focused on getting a big number on Spotify for that first day, and she did. And it's no secret that in the age of streaming, a collaboration immediately has an advantage on the Spotify charts because that artist's fan base is going to come listen as well. We also know that the order of songs on an album now pretty much dictates the order that those songs will be on the charts. <laughs> So for an artist at Taylor's level, to put a collaboration as track number one pretty much guarantees that, that song is going to be number one on the chart. So if you weren't planning on making it your first single, you better because it's going to look embarrassing that your first single is not the number one on the charts. Yeah, Taylor set a new record for the most streamed song in a single day. That's not surprising. And yeah, I make the separation now that like, sure, a song's going to have a, a big opening. And sure, that's a testament to Taylor's popularity, how big that song opened. Like a lot of people are interested in hearing her new song. Now it becomes, once those 25 million people have heard that song, how many of those 25 million people are going to listen to it again? And again, and listen to it in a week. So that's when you start really seeing the numbers of how, how popular a song is. Like, the first, the release of a song is really how popular the artist is. And then it's, yeah, as the weeks go by, it becomes how popular, how, how much people like the song. So we'll see. And on day two, Fortnite dropped down to 14 million streams, which is about a 45% drop in streams from day one. Take that for what it is, and then yeah, we'll see what happens in day three. Now, what do you think of Fortnite being the first single from the 